Okay, next up is my go-to product. I, I absolutely love this. I need to have found this lightweight foundation, but this one is killer if you're tired. So what this is, is a concealer pen. It comes like this, it's all in one, which I love, love, love. And all you do is you click the bottom. Um, I use color light and don't worry because I will link all of this stuff so that you can see it afterwards um, so that it's, it's not confusing. You don't need to be writing notes now. I'll, I'll put it all in the email so you can see. You click the pen, the product is right to the tip of it. I just did two clicks. And what I do is I just think about being almost like a jack-o'-lantern. So go ahead and do underneath the eyes and wherever she's dark. If she has a blemish, I'll cover that up. Grace has a little darkness about above the top of her lips sometimes, so I do it there. Um, go ahead and close your eyes. I do a little bit on her eyes because it'll give the eyeshadow something nice to adhere to. And then all I do with that is I just go ahead and I use my finger for this part. Um, I also like a beauty blender, like a little beauty blender um, sponge that you can just get even at the drugstore. Those ones are fine or Sephora or something like that. But I go ahead and I just blend that in really quick, um, kind of being gentle around the eyes. I get into the, into the corners of her eyes in here because that is where you can really hold a lot of darkness. Then I just come back with my foundation brush again and just kind of blend it all in. Now, you know, for, um, for Grace or for the kids, we're just um, lightening under the eyes as a highlighter or whatnot. For somebody like me who's at the horse show and is exhausted, um, that is killer to use because then you are really covering those dark circles. Um, so it's my one of my go-to favorites. All right, so once all the foundation is on, um, then I go ahead with this mattifying powder. It sounds scary, mattifying powder. Um, what I love about this is for fine lines and wrinkles, it doesn't set into the into the creases but for the peanuts they don't look um the they don't look cakey they don't look um too mature this is another beauty counter brush um i again it's all about the tools this nice big brush just makes things go so much faster i put a little bit of product into the top that's all you need dip the brush in give it a tap and all i'm doing is just setting what is on her face now when I'm not talking, this is going a lot faster because usually I'm trying to get all three of them done before they're horse showing, um, and it's a mass chaos, but that's all I do. Um, next product I use is a little bit of a bronzer. Um, reason being, it just puts color back into the skin, a warmth back into the skin. I found with my girls, because they're so pale um, and because I load them up with sunscreen in the summer, um, that they pretty much stay the <laughs> they stay light skinned, which I, which I want. Um, for their futures and for their health. But I do like a little bit of warmth when I'm putting makeup on. So I just get a bronzer. Um, this is the number one bronzer. Again, I'll put it back in there. And I just go ahead and just do a little bit kind of where the sun would hit her face. Um, so I go cheeks, nose, forehead, um, chin. For more mature women, I do the jowl line down in here even for grace, because it gives a nice definition um, underneath. But you'll just see that all of a sudden, her skin looks warm and glowy, um, and just kind of flawless. Go ahead and just turn your skin. Flawless. So, <laughs> flawless. Almost. Mm -hmm. All right, next up is blush. Um, Depending on, again, depending on the maturity, this for this one, I am using guava. Um, it's just such a soft, pretty pink color for her. Um, for me, sometimes I maybe use something that's a little deeper, a little bit more severe. For her, I want her to look young, fresh. I do not want it to look heavy. Um, so again, a nice angled, I, I don't know if you guys can really see that, but a nice angled beauty counter brush again is killer because it gets it right where you want. It's a nice size. Um, so I just go ahead and tap into the guava and just do gentle taps just where her, um, the tops of her cheekbones are. Now, do not, obviously, when you're doing any sort of stage makeup, whether it's for a dance recital or 
um, or show, you want more color on the face than you typically would have in an everyday situation. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put enough blush on that it would be, like I said, a horse show makeup, um, which would be about this. And we may even add more because blush is really important as um, we're doing horse show photography, okay? You just show your face. So that's a really pretty young, fresh color for her. Um, okay, next up is eyeshadow. Um, and Beauty Counter has several gorgeous, gorgeous palettes. Okay, can you pick one up too, Gracie? So this one is called the Classic, and I don't know if you can see how shimmery and gorgeous these colors are. They're just so pretty. This one, what is this one, Statement? Oh no, this one, yeah, Statement is this one. Can you see those colors? And last but not least, this one is what? Is this one called? Romantic. Okay, so <clears throat> I try to, depending on what each child is wearing, I try to go with the palette that um, is not only good for their skin color, but also matching what they have going on. So like I said, so for Grace, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use this one. And maybe blend in with a little bit of this one too, um, the classic. Um, and then also this one is the statement. But um, again, I go ahead and use a beauty counter brush. There's several different eyeshadow brushes. I like this one that is a dual end because we have a fluffy end and an angled end. Um, I'm gonna go in with a good base. Um, I always go for a neutral first. So I'm using the color Flaxen. Right up the bat, I just get product on and then I tap it out. And then next up, all I do is just, I press it into her skin. Um, gone are the days where you're like swipe, swipe, swipe with a little wand, um, you know, that comes in the packet. It just, it doesn't apply the product correctly. And honestly, it takes forever. This just press right into the skin. It get, I always start with a nice neutral tone. I go right all the way up to her, her brow. Um, and then I will use a little bit lighter tone in the corners of her eyes. Again, we're just trying to brighten up her face. Um, I also take a lighter color and I go under her brow. This color that I'm putting on now is bone, um, but I just press it right into the skin. Next up, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go in with this peacock color, and that is a pretty bold color. But um, for her, I, I love it. I love bringing out the blue in her eyes. Um, and I think that this is a really pretty color. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of Peacock. Close. I'm gonna do this just a little bit on the corners of her eyes. And again, press. Think press instead of swipe. Um, can you just turn your head, baby? <clears throat> This color is exactly, when it goes on her skin, it is exactly the color of her suit. And it really, I don't use it as a state, I use it as an accent color. I don't do her whole eye, but close your eyes, sweetheart. You can kind of see, I just have done the corners of her eyes um, just to bring it in. I'm gonna dip into this other palette just so you can see some of the colors. I'm gonna go into um, Sahara out of the Classic and fill in the rest of her eyes. I love um, kind of a bronzy tone on her eyes um, with the blue. It just really makes her gorgeous blue eyes just kind of pop. Lucky girl. Close. Okay. You can just close your eyes again, honey. Chill. I'm gonna add just a teeny bit of fun with this crown color. You like the way it looks so far? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Close. Crown is just a little bit of sparkle. Just some fun. We'll add this in. I love these colors too for a driving class, especially or an evening class. Um, you know, bronzy, whatnot. Um, some makeup artists tell you to go ahead and do eyes first because you get fallout underneath. I find with Beauty Counter, if I just brush it out from underneath the eyes, you're, you're good to go. 
I have a tough time color wise um, seeing what would work and what wouldn't work. That looks great, Grace. Okay, next up, I, I have Grace curl her eyelashes. Beauty Counter does not make an eyelash curler, but um, I love, can you go ahead and do that? I love um, the way Grace's eyes look when she curls her eyelashes. It's good to make sure that you always do that before you're going to use mascara. You don't want to put your mascara on and then curl your lashes because you're dam damaging your lashes. Um, so I have her go ahead and curl her lashes. I've taught her go at the base, work out, and then curl them right back at the base one more time. And that gives yourself a nice curl so you're not getting that weird jagged line. Um, I do that even with my tinies because I like when their eyelashes look open and I don't like to put a lot of eyeliner on necessarily the littles. For Grace this year, I'll probably put a little eyeliner on. Um, but for the littles, I don't necessarily love that look. I still want them to look sweet and um, kind of simple, at, you know, just adding pops of color, not necessarily a severe look. 